Since thousands of years, at the core of human evolution, wood has played an important role in the history of civilizations. From wheels to houses, wood has been used for fuel, weapons, furniture, paper, and more. As times passed and technology grew, we have all taken refuge under synthetic, non-sustainable materials, making our abode a concrete jungle and leaving heavy carbon footprints. It is time to revive our relationship with wood, embracing its environmentally friendly nature, renewability and durability. It can be mould to any shape and it fits well for all our needs. It is sustainable and paramount for us to grow more and use more. Bringing the best of both worlds, that is, wood and modern technology is the Institute of Wood Science and Technology. In the heart of the Silicon Valley of India, in one of the oldest suburbs, the Institute of Wood Science and Technology, Bengaluru, spreads over an area of 25 acres. The Institute of Wood Science and Technology, IWST, is a premier national research institution under the umbrella of Indian Council of Forestry Research and Education. Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change, Government of India. Initially established as Forest Research Laboratory in 1938, the institute got its current name in 1988. The 10 hectares serene campus has a perfect blend of passionate scientists and facilities par excellence. There is a community hall, common facility center, guest house, a number of well equipped laboratories. workshops, a sound library, a resourceful museum, and all amenities needed to foster scientific studies on wood science. Acknowledging the expertise available and the contributions made by the Institute, IWST is recognized as Center for Advanced Studies in the areas of Improved Utilization of Wood, Research on Sandalwood, the six interdisciplinary divisions specialize and focus on different areas of forestry and wood science studies that amalgamates into the overall work of IWST. The Wood Properties and Uses Division specializes in the areas of wood identification, wood properties, value addition and testing. The Wood Processing Division strives to increase the service life of wood, wood-based products and develop efficient wood processing technologies. The Forest Protection Division focuses on forest entomology and forest pathology with a goal to protect trees and timber from biodeteriorating agents and conserve the natural forest ecosystem. The Silvi Culture and Forest Management Division aims at enhancing the wood productivity 
by improving the quality of planting material and conservation of germ plasm of economically important species with the objective of augmenting raw materials for the wood-based industries. The Extension Division acts as the face of the institution by formulating innovative communication methods of reaching farmers, industries and other stakeholders. The Facilities and Services Division is responsible for infrastructure development and provides general facilities like IT support and logistics. Sandalwood, Rosewood, Red Sanders, Milia Dubia, Eucalyptus, Acacia, the list can go on. There are around 4,000 tree species in India, each with varying properties. IWST is creating a database on anatomical, physical and mechanical properties of lesser known and plantation grown timbers for their improved utilization and value addition. It also works on non-destructive evaluation of wood quality in standing trees as well as logs. The institute recommends types of wood to be used by different sectors based on the various properties of wood. It maintains a well-curated xylarium with a collection of 2012 authenticated wood samples from 826 genera from across the world. Understanding the natural durability of wood is a key factor to determine the potential usage of any species of wood. IWST has documented the natural durability of 352 indigenous timber species and 20 imported species. It also houses live culture of wood rotting fungi, and wood boring insects. Processing of wood is a key component towards achieving durability, stability and long life of wood and the first step of processing is drying. The conventional drying techniques are either time consuming, expensive or degrades the wood. IWST is working with partner institutes to design and develop a new radio frequency and microwave based wood bamboo drying systems which will immensely aid in rapid drying of wood with fewer defects. The institute has extensively worked on development and evaluation of preservatives for enhancing the durability of wood. Starting from chemical preservatives to recent nano and bio-based solutions, IWSD has a lot to offer in this aspect. It has conducted extensive research on protection of wood from weathering through chemical modification thermal modification and surface coatings and the institute is successful in significantly enhancing the performance of low durability wood by modification. Modified wood is tested for stability in laboratories using accelerated weatherometer and also under natural conditions outdoor.
composites. The institute has carried out in-depth research on using different materials and techniques to improve utilization of wood. Wood Polymer Composite IWST has proposed using natural fibers as reinforcement in a thermoplastic matrix. The wood polymer composite is more environment friendly, reduces consumption of plastics and can also be recycled. These composites provide an opportunity to replace up to 60% of plastics. The institute is working on cross-laminated timber, that is CLT, which is a massive multi-layer engineered panel wood product for structural applications. This will provide an opportunity to utilize low-grade, kiln-dried lumber to produce stronger structural material, especially in high-rise buildings. Laminated Bamboo Lumber Compressing the stripped and planed bamboo lumber under high pressure and processing it has proven to increase its strength and durability. Studies at IWST has shown that laminated bamboo lumber can be a good alternative to solid wood lumber. The institute is involved in the preparation of transparent wood composites using synthetic and bio-based polymers. This has potential applications to build smart windows electrochromic devices, solar panels, lighting fixtures, and so on. Yes, so wood can also be transparent and an alternative to glass. IWSD has standardized nursery technology for production of quality planting material of sandalwood and vegetative and micropropagation methods for industrially important various bamboo species. The state-of-the-art tissue culture laboratory contributes immensely for the research studies on micropropagation of important tree species. IWST also does technology transfer of tissue culture protocols. The institute documents genetic diversity of commercially important tree species and conducts research on climate change and carbon sequestration. It also carries out life cycle analysis of wood. Recognized as a center of advanced studies in sandalwood research, the institute has its legacy coming from 1977 when the institution had the Sandal Research Center on its campus and has been contributing to sandalwood research since then. It has developed various agroforestry models on sandalwood for validation and wider adoption. Efforts are also made to develop a mobile application for connecting all the end users with research updates and support the cause of conservation and sustained utilization of sandalwood. It is also striving to bring all the stakeholders of sandalwood under one umbrella. The institute also has an online directory for all sandalwood related subjects and is hosted as Sandalwood Information System on the IWST website. The institute also has two field research stations at Nallal and Gottipura, where most of the field research activities of bamboo and sandalwood are carried out. The 
institute is also working on standardizing procedures for estimation of hardwood in standing trees through ERT, that is, electric resistance tomograph. The institute has implemented Smart Forest, where e-protection of sandalwood and high-value timber is done through IoT-based chips. IWST has the expertise for sandalwood oil extraction and quantitative assessment of quality of sandalwood oil as per Indian and international standards on various physical and chemical parameters. As an outreach activity, the institute holds regular meetings with farmers in connection with establishing Vana Vigyan Kendra in Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh and Goa and adoption of villages. IWSD publishes a quarterly magazine, Wood is Good which is a platform for scientists, researchers, wood technologists and industry experts to express their perspectives. The institute also offers a short and long-term courses along with the PhD program. Advanced Woodworking Training Center AWTC is one among very few woodworking training institutes in the country. Through AWTC, short and long-term courses are offered to candidates who aspire to build their career in the wood industry. Since its inception in 2003, AWTC has trained a lot of people who are now working in different parts of the world. The Institute has signed a number of MOUs collaborating and partnering with other organizations to further its vision. IWST provides various testing and consultancy services on wood and wood-based technologies to institutions and industries across the nation. The institute also conducts regular short-term trainings on various areas of its expertise. The institute has been closely working with state forest departments and other stakeholders at an advisory level. IWST provides technical know-how and knowledge for industries and individuals on utilization of wood, forest management, cultivation, crop and pest management. We invite woodworking industries, wood enthusiasts, aspiring researchers, students and everybody to come and explore the world of wood and its opportunities at the Institute of Wood Science and Technology, Bengaluru.